In this video, we're going to show you how to save your chart layouts, how to share them, rename them, and organize them so that you never lose your charts. Check this out. This drop down menu is your starting point. As you can see, when our mouse hovers over this, it says manage chart layouts. You can manage all of your chart layouts right from here. For example, the chart we have open right now shows various asset classes on a year to date performance. As you can see, we actually have the chart named YTD various asset classes. And let's say we create this chart and we never want to lose it. Watch this. We click, the cloud starts to show that it's saving and now it's saved. We've saved this chart layout. You can just click this button at the top of your chart. Let's say you want to make some adjustments to your chart. You want to control how it's saved. Well, we have an auto save feature. So you can click this and you can turn auto save on or off and it will save every five minutes. Additionally, there's a sharing feature. So when you toggle this, you can choose to share your chart. When it's toggled on, all you have to do is copy the link and then share it. It's really that simple and people can follow along and they can comment on your chart or make a copy of it. They won't be able to draw anything though because it's your chart. So let's go back to this drop down menu to explore some other cool features. You can rename your chart. So if we click rename, right now it's called year to date various assets. But if we want to just call it, um, oops, let's go back, rename. Let's say we just want to call it year to date comparison, just a small change. We click save, and as you can see, the name has changed. Now our chart is called year to date comparison. We can also make a quick copy of it. So if we wanna remix this chart or we wanna make some edits to it but not lose the original, we can just click make a copy and watch what happens. We choose our copy name, year to date comparison. Let's just call it copy one. We hit save. And now what's happening is we're loading a year to date comparison chart called copy one and we can make drawings as we need. Let's say we just wanna circle, you know, these were the highs here at 70%. Interesting how it looks like uh, some of these assets were in an uptrend and just are starting to break below that. Let's go back to our original chart here. So next up we wanna show is something very important, which is load chart layout. This is where you can manage all the charts that you've saved. So when we click load chart layout, we get this. These are all of the charts that we've created. As you can see, year to date comparison copy one is already there. We also have some options here where we can choose how we want to see all of the charts that we've created. We can do it alphabetically by the na by name. We can also do it by date modified. What was made first and what was last edited or created last. So this is a really effective way for managing your chart layouts. Also, see these stars here? You can add it to your favorites, and if you do that, it will it will actually auto-populate to the top. So this way, you're, act, you're signaling to yourself, these are my favorites, I don't want to lose track of these charts. Now, let's say we were to click one of these charts that we've saved. For example, candlestick patterns. We made this chart, and we want to go right back to it. So we click. And here's our candle pit, candlestick pattern chart. Pretty cool. It's saved. Nothing's changed. It looks beautiful. It's just how we left it. So by going to this drop down and then load chart layout, you can see all the charts that you've saved over time. Now, one really important aspect of this, we're going to go back to our year to date comparison chart that we started with. Okay, this is the year to date comparison chart. If we make an adjustment to this chart, this is so, so important. Let's say we change the symbol of to Apple. Okay, now it's Apple. We've just changed the chart layout. So now if we click, it's going to save with Apple, not BTC USD. So it's really important that when, when you have your chart layout, when you're set on it, make sure that you are making copies when you want to change various assets because if you start changing the chart around it will save 
and that will be the new chart. So it's really important to be effective at naming your charts, making copies of your charts, and understanding your chart layouts, including if you have favorites or if you just want to sort your chart layouts, for example, alphabetically or by modification date. So, so, so important. And remember, if you hover your mouse over this button at the top and click, it will save instantly. Additionally, if you notice, it says Control plus S. That's right, there's a hotkey. If you press Control plus S, the chart layout will automatically save. That's just two buttons to press on your keyboard and it instantly saves. So we hope that this video helps you understand saving your chart layouts and why it's so important. So let's just recap really quick what we went through here. First of all, your chart layouts can be managed up here, right where our mouse is right now. This drop down is super important. It's how you can manage your autosave. It's how you can manage if you want to share the link with friends or family, colleagues, people in your network. Additions where you can rename your chart, make a copy of your chart, create new chart layouts. So if we click this, we're now creating a new chart completely from scratch. As you can see, it says unnamed. So let's rename this. And in this instance, let's say we want to make a chart layout called, um, let's look at, uh, at Zoom. Zoom is a stock that's been on quite the run this year in 2020. So now we've called it ZM stock. We go to our symbol search type ZM and now let's save it. Now we've saved our zoom chart layout. It is just a line chart. It is going to be year to date and let's keep it at percentage change. And just like that, we have a new chart layout that we can always come back to. So let's click load chart layout. And once again, this is where you can manage all of the charts you've created. The ones that are most important to you, you can add to your favorites so that they always rise to the top. And additionally, it's where you can quickly really quickly go back to the charts that you care about and this load chart layout is something that if you learn if you start to master you will never lose another chart layout again you will be organized prepared and you'll know how to use TradingView to improve your trading or investing process for example let's go back to that candlestick pattern chart all we do is click here we are it has not changed a bit it's perfect Okay, we hope that this video helped you and that we gave you a proper tutorial of the chart layout feature, including how it works, the sharing capabilities, and most importantly, a few tips around creating new chart layouts and saving them to their menu and using the star to favorite specific layouts and also quickly organizing your charts and moving them around based on their name or their modifica modification date. So thank you for watching. We hope that you enjoyed this video. Leave any questions or comments below. And if you have any feedback for us, you can also post that in the comments. Our team is watching and we will try to build something for you if the feedback is that good or the recommendation is that good. So thanks again for watching. Remember, your chart layout can be managed up here, this drop down menu is really important to the process. Get started with it today. It will change the way you chart, follow markets, and just your general organizational process around trading and investing. Thanks for watching.